So today we're going to continue with dynoing 12 volt brushless drills with the Makita 2 and 4 amp hour battery, Skill 2 and 4 amp hour battery, Bosch 2, 3 and 4 amp hour battery. Let's go ahead, take a little of those specs real quick, then we'll get these on the dyno and see how they perform. Bosch, model GSR12V-300N, kit number GSR12V-300B22. Max RPM speed 1, 460, speed 2, 1,750. Max torque 300 pound inch. Weight tool only 1.6 pounds. Weight with battery 2.5 pounds. Chuck size 3 8 made in Malaysia. Skill model DL529001. Kit DL529002. Max RPM speed 1, 450. Max RPM speed 2, 1,700. Max torque 350 pound inch. Weight tool only 2.3 pounds. Weight with battery 3.3 pounds. Chuck size half inch, made in China. Makita, model PH05, kit number PH05R1. RPM speed 1, max 450. Max RPM speed 2, 1,500. Max torque 280 pound inch, BPM of 0 to 6,750 speed 1, 0 to 22,500 speed 2, weight to only 2 pounds, weight with battery 2.8 pounds, chuck size 3 8 made in China. So like normal on the dyno, each battery I'm going to do 3 pulls each, take an average, so I'm going to show you one chart per drill with the highest performance. Makita, 4 amp power battery. <laughs> Four amp hour. Bosch four amp hour. Max torque pound inch on low. You can definitely tell using the higher amp hour batteries do help. With the Makita here actually coming out on top. Max power on the other hand, a little bit different story. Same deal with the batteries, but here the skill actually outperformed the rest. Now here's a table with some more specs. Additionally, I do have the Milwaukee's and the DeWalt on here from previous testing. And when we look at the tested data, it's quite interesting to see where the Bosch, Makita, and Skill actually fall compared to the DeWalt in Milwaukee. Actual power in watts, the Skill outperformed the older generation M12 there. The cost to watt ratio is actually the best here. So the Bosch sadly did the worst. Uh, it is quite compact, but yeah, performance wise, last. It is kind of compact as well, but the performance just wasn't there to keep up with the rest, even though the torque was quite high. Skill out of these three, definitely the better performing tool and is actually third now on the list here right below the DeWalt. They did just release a newer version but it is supposed to be higher torque and more compact. 
So hopefully you found this video useful. I'll leave the link below to the previous test video with the two Milwaukee's and the DeWalt. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you on another one.